what's up guys welcome back to another video today we're gonna be making some jamaican style pepper shrimp this dish is simple and easy with just a few ingredients so if you want to know how to make this keep on watching Okay guys, so let's do our ingredients breakdown. So I have my shrimp here that's already been washed. They're head-on shrimp. I washed them in cold water and lime, lime juice and vinegar. And I have my garlic right here, onion. I have some red bell peppers, thyme, escalion, scotch bonnet pepper. We're also gonna be using some food coloring. I'm gonna season it with some maggi, some house blend, some black pepper, and I'm gonna put a tad bit of this smoked paprika okay and we have our wok over here with four tablespoons of olive oil so first thing first guys let us season our shrimp i'm gonna go in with three quarter of the maggi i'm not gonna use all of it i'm gonna go in with some house blend about one teaspoon of house blend Half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. You know your girl love her freshly cropped black pepper. So I'm going to add some of this. About half a teaspoon. I'm now going to add all my natural seasoning. So the pepper, the bell pepper, the onion. All of that goodness. The thyme. Now I'm going to add my garlic, just put it in the press like this. Put the other one in. I'm going to put my gloves back on. So after you've added everything, you want to marinate this now. You want to get all that seasoning onto the shrimp okay this is a very simple dish and it's so so easy to make you're gonna see so easy you just gonna get everything rubbed up and we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes so after we've combined everything we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes before we actually cook it This doesn't need a lot of seasoning because this pepper shrimp is mostly focused on the natural flavors of the shrimp and the added pepper and that onion and all those natural stuff that we added. Alright, so we're going to let this sit for 30 minutes. Guys, so it's been 30 minutes and my heat is on medium and we're just going to let this pot eat up a bit. And then we're going to add everything in there, the shrimp with all that seasoning and yeah, we're on our way. So the oil has been eating up for about three minutes and I'm just going to add everything in there. All that shrimp, all that seasoning, just add it all in. Hey, one thing about this spatula, it's gonna get everything out of that plate. <laughs> We're just gonna stir this up. If your oil get cold, you can always turn it up a little bit. Everybody's stove works different, guys. So just, even though I said medium, make sure the pot is hot. Okay? We just want to spray this around. So you want to keep flipping them until all of them turn that little orange color. 
So just keep flipping it. So good, y'all. So, so good. How nice they're looking already. So, I'm just going to cover this for a bit. So, I'm going to cover it for about three minutes and let them soak up all that flavor from the natural seasonings and the pepper. And then I'm going to come back. So, guys, while the shrimp is going, I have my food color in here and I have some hot water in this glass right here like about a little over a quarter i'm gonna list everything in the description the amount of water everything i'm just gonna add two drops of the food coloring so that's one two okay let's check on our shrimp so they've been going for a little while like three minutes this is how they look <clears throat> guys the heat in here Ooh, trust me hot take a ball out so now i'm just gonna add this to it that's the water that we added the food coloring in and we're gonna cook the shrimp for 10 minutes on medium high Okay, medium, just say medium heat. So we're gonna cover this and that's gonna soak up all the coloring, everything. It's look like it's not catching any color now guys, but after the 10 minutes, you'll see what it looks like. So guys, they've been going for about five minutes. See that? They're getting that beautiful color already. So five more minutes and they should be ready. And they are ready. Look at those spicy red shrimp. Listen. These look so good. They're smelling good. Guys, comment below and tell me what you like to have your pepper shrimp with. And let me know if these are your favorite Jamaican street snacks as well. So I'm going to let these shrimps sit. Let me turn my heat off. I'm going to let them sit for about 25 minutes before I even shear them out. So they're gonna sit and suck up all that liquid and all that flavor. And uh, yeah, and there you have it guys, Jamaican pepper shrimp. I hope you really enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll definitely see you in my next upload. Bye.